All right, welcome back to Life is Strange, everybody. True Colors. Going to do chapters two and three, or, or make an attempt. So, if you're wondering why there's no music, I muted it because I don't not in the mood to hear about the whole copyright thing again. I just got to bear with me on this one. If you want to listen to music from? This I'm not game. big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, till he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions <laughs> or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern all the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. <laughs> the first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, <laughs> that's why the K is silent. <laughs> Dude, nobody's laughing. Uh, and the fifth time, Goodness. he cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is he came into this bar as a stranger, but he left it as family. <clears throat> Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe? was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about that... we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. 
pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life. Look, I told you there was no call to miss. Hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh shit, I mean, it's not like, it's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you Mac, were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. What's this stupid headset? Sorry, hold on a second. This headset squeaks too much when I move. And if you hear it too, I'm sorry about that. Nothing I can do about it. I'm trying to... I'm just not in the mood right now. Why not you? That's it. Wait's over. Everyone, out! Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? God, no. I'm a fucking wreck. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious. Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. Yeah. 
We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. Foosball champion? Why would that make her so sad? out what's really going on with Steph. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. bus ticket. Wait, wait, hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm! Badass! I think I know enough to help her now. Still can't believe he's gone. Yeah. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine.
First to five points? If you say so. Oh boy. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. Dang it. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Ah, dang, I am so, so seriously bad at this. I seriously have no idea how to how does this work for me, but five points. That's game. Yep. Big shocker. Oh hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Okay, okay. Joking aside, playing this stupid game with you is exactly what I need right now. You're on. Again? Oh, come on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course Jesus, not. Look at this. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Win. I was actually trying that time. <laughs> okay, whoa, wait, wait. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know, Gabe would be all about his playing like this. Well, then it's settled. Oh, not again. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Totally. Ah. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I mostly dated guys before, actually. Oh yeah? Do they listen to CDs or bird calls? Because I could hook you up. Can't say I've ever dated a bird call enthusiast before. Who's the one? What? Fuck. <laughs> I knew it. How old are you exactly? Old enough to know better. 
Dad, come on. I am so sorry. I'm so bad at this. Gotcha, man. better loser than Gabe. That's no fun. Sorry to spoil the victory. <sighs> it's kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac. He's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you. That means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Just this stupid has a phone stop squeaking. Hold on a second. <sighs> it's just gonna keep doing it no matter what. Sorry about that. saying earlier oh yeah because i turned off the music because got tired of that whole copyright stuff because of the licensed music even though the music's in the game and yada 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 i know gabe made that call but did mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him See? I can be a person. Hey, you know I'm not gonna bother with the dress thing. Dress. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. One of the happiest memories I have. Thanks, Gabe. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. Gabe really meant the world to Steph. It's a start. Mm. 
not much to toast at the moment. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder. Or whatever snowboarders say. I never got to see bartender Gabe in action, but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. I don't know if I have to go upstairs or downstairs to progress. Hopefully I didn't have to do that. That ah, crap I did. Oh wait, never mind. False alarm. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. I'll toss those soon, I swear. Why look up at the sky when you could look at a sculpture instead? No birds today. Water looks pretty in this game. Gabe really loved this place. Gabe was such a dad. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that Steph's old band? I bet Gabe could even make golf fun. Nothing else to look at. Okay, so I'll go downstairs. Is the way to go. <sighs> so I'm going to try and do chapters two and three today. Hopefully, I won't be tired in the middle. Hopefully it'll just rain today. If it does anything else, then I'll have to stop the stream short. But hopefully it won't come to that. I really hope. I hope I didn't jinx myself there. Or as I would usually say, Timmy Turner myself. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too late. Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake, and you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. 
wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. I'm starting to get skeptical of Ryan as well. But we'll worry about that at some point. How did all these people get your number? Jeez. I'll worry about the collectibles off stream for now. I just want to play the game for the story. Nothing more, nothing less. And if I get stuck, then I get stuck. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary if I want. That guy, that's good, I don't care. All right, dispensary. Oh, you heard about the accident. Was it on the news? No, no one's been fired. The park looks fun to explore. I haven't been a bartender long, but I'm pretty sure these are supposed to stay in the bar. Oh, you think? This is cool, in a wicker man sort of way.
Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, Alex. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. Okay, definitely not fine. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Fuck. Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... I'm here for you, whenever you need me. So young. He must be reading about Gabe. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. Pike. Hey! Um, how you holding up? Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Hey, I want you to know I meant what I said back there. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah. That's what everyone's been saying. And, uh... When you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. Bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's Might really be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Do you want to do something together next week? Mm. Sure. I have a ah. pottery class Wednesday night. Dispensary. Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Well, all right then. Great conversation. Charlotte? Alex, hey. Jed said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. I'm okay. Keeping my chin up. Sometimes that's all you can do. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. 
Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. He's a pretty insightful kid. He knows how much you're hurting, even when you try to hide it from him. Instead of trying to be strong, maybe the best thing you can do is show him that it's okay to hurt. That's really helpful, Alex. Thank you. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death Escape. What is this? An affidavit. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they didn't do anything wrong? They say it's an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? Money for me. As I turn it down. I don't think you should sign it. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but you can't let Typhon buy you off. Gabe made that call. And I'm gonna prove it. I just... I need some time. Thanks for being honest. If they're willing to pay Charlotte to keep quiet, they're definitely hiding something. I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. I really appreciate you stopping. Of course, she's right. But I could really use that money. We can't give in, no matter how hard it is. When did you start needing a PhD to smoke pot? Stairway to Haven? Believe it or not, Gabe named that one. Oh, I believe it. I'm always here for you if you need anything. Thanks. Back at you. Wait, did that just say... Never mind. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see it. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep schedule's... Talk about the accident? 
How would I know that? Fuck, now I'm on Diane's shit list. Thanks, Diane. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. that guy's sister. I feel so bad for her. Getting sick of people feeling bad for me. I love... Better be there. If you're not, I'm gonna be mad. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... Still just trying to adjust, I think. Give yourself some time. Change is always hard. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. Okay. Time to figure out why she's afraid. The doctor said I had more time, but everything is becoming so out of order. All my memories are fading. I feel broken. I thought I was looking at the picture, I was looking at the cash register. I was like, why did it show me the cash register? If they know if they about know my about condition, my they'll make me close, make this, me place. close this place. How does she hide all of this? If Riley, Riley finds, finds out, out, she can't, she can't find, out. find out. Thank you. 
Thank you, dear. I'll get started on it right away. Just come by with the check whenever you're free. Holy shit. just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Let's see what happens. Forget what you were working on? <laughs> You could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, um, uh, I don't want to keep you. Hey, I, I want to help. <laughs> okay, what would Eleanor have done first? Oh, do I really have to l look at what... You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Was it the phone that distracted her? Because I know sometimes a sudden call would happen. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Okay, phone call was second. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. <sighs> Goodness. What was the order for? Okay, so the, the order, okay. It must have been the flowers. Since I was looking, I went out here to see what was next after that because I figured it had to be Riley and then. What was the next? What would be the next thing? I think this is it. Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them.
The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan, huh? Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. Let's see what happens if I say yay. They were... They were for Gabe's wake. Gabe's wake? Gabe's wake! I... Missed it! Sorry. Hey, it's um... Excuse me. <laughs> okay. That sucked. But at least I told her the truth. Well, that could have gone better. She's really hurting. But I didn't want to lie to her. No, this whole thing would have been avoided for that particular part if she would have just said you. it was best for her not to show up because there was a fight involved. But no. Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? It's like, what do you guys want? Yeah. Lovely. Bridge. How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? Did you, Did you buy? Are your chicken coop? <sighs> no, I couldn't. I spent too much. You better still be at the frickin' bridge by the time I get back from this record store, otherwise I'm gonna be mad. I don't get it. Do people just not Steph work? asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. <sighs> I might regret this, but who's to say that I won't? Maybe this is just like a like a side side story side mission however you want to call it not to distract me from the main progress 